Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Just a quick video. Tyson Fury's legal situation with Deontay Wilder. Did I call it weeks ago? It's on the channel if you go look. What happens when you get big personalities in boxing like Bob Arum, Frank Warren, Al Heyman, Shelley Finkel. Right, you've got four big personalities there in boxing. Shelley Finkel's got legal experience. Bob Aaron were a lawyer. Right. Al Heyman, a lawyer, studied at Harvard. And you've got Frank Warren, who's obsessed by litigation. And what you've got is Frank Warren pushing and pushing to get Caballel fight against Tyson Fury on pay-per-view on December 5th to make up for not doing it for Joyce Dubois is that fight in danger now? I don't know is somebody going to pull out of that fight now? because are they going to pay for it? we are uh, pay-per-view December 5th I don't know be interesting to see what goes on but there's a lot of scenarios and permutations and round robins and a lot of shit being talked by a lot of shit houses. But this is how I look at it, right? And I don't want people to think that I'm being a bully and picking on these people. Frank Warren has never backed down from a legal fight in his life. Never. He's had to pull the plug on that fight. Why is that? Because Bob Arum's calling shots, isn't he? And if Bob Arum's saying, pull it, we're not going to risk it, they're on the back foot. All right? Shelley Finkel and Al Heyman, do you think they're not people that don't know what they're on with, of course they do these people have been in game years, look at the Al Heyman's responsible for putting the biggest ever fights on in boxing Floyd Mayweather against probably 8 at top 10 if you go look you know Conor McGregor, Manny Pacquiao and all the other fights, Canelo, Al Heyman's a big mover and shaker Shelley Finkel or Mike Tyson's the advisor when he were top of the tree do you know what I mean? When Mike Tyson was top of the pile, Shelley, a, Shelley Finkel were a big mover and shaker. Do you know what I mean? So, when, when they're messing about and this and that and the champion loses his belt and then we have a pandemic, of course it's going to go to legal arguing and litigation. It's, I only called that video because I just, that's just how boxing goes, isn't it? And, You've got Eddie Hearn there jumping up and down, this and that, blah de blah. We've got Pulef fighting that. They're not confident about Pulef and Joshua. Now, they're not confident Joshua wins. If they were confident, why is there a rematch clause? And why is there a rematch clause anyway? When it's a mandatory. I know that because I went to Bulgaria. Yui Fury fought Pulef 26 months ago. 26 months ago. For that slot. For that slot. Uh, I know about that. I know about that. So, hmm. Point I want to make is that Eddie Hearn slagged Mick Hennessy off for putting a rematch clause in for Tyson Fury and Vladimir. But what's he done with Joshua Pulef? It's only what Vladimir's people did to Mick. Otherwise, they'd have just stalled and stalled and messed him about. Tyson got his shot, he beat him, but he would have had to beat him twice to be free of it. And then it all got dismantled. Look, it's just how it goes in boxing. It's the wild, wild west. Joshua's not nailed on to beat Pulef. He's not nailed on. And then everything's up in air, isn't it, again? It's Groundhog Day then, isn't it? You know, people start messing about and chatting shit in boxing and you get found out. Joshua and Tyson Fury will not fight next year. They'll not do it with no gate. It just won't happen. It will not happen. Fury's got to fight Wilder, otherwise they'll be parked up. They'll not mess about with Fury, they'll park him up. And Fury's now tied in with Bob Arum and he'll be telling him. And Frank Warren, where's he in all this now? It looks like his big cash cow, Tyson Fury, is parked up. And he's got Dubois and Joyce on a non-pay-per-view. They're going to want paying. They were thinking they were getting some uh, Caballel Tyson Fury cash. Is the chinks in the armour now? 
I don't know, but Eddie Hearn will be making his move. He'll be looking at Tyson's contract and Frank Warren will be sweating cobs. He's normally a cool, calculated boxing person, Frank, but he'll be sweating cobs over this. So don't be surprised if Dubois and Joyce gets pulled or put back. There could be an injury coming out in next week or something. That's just how I see it. So what, what day are we on here? Quarter to 12 on a Tuesday. So, all right, I keep saying I'm going to go out for a Costa. I keep going out in the car and I keep forgetting. I'm either looking for car washers or Costas. And then I come back. I think I've got short-term memory loss still. But, but that's how I look at it. So I just think that it's a bit of a mess. I don't see Tyson Fury fighting for six months at least. He could be 18 months out at ring now. 18 months out at ring. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to park him up and hope that his head goes. That's what will happen. So, it's just boxing, isn't it? It's part of the game, isn't it? It's part of the game. So, alright, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. And uh, I think you've all had a good do at me today. Uh, six videos. Uh, sadly, Sean. New needs some he couldn't come on channel this morning because he couldn't get his, his tech stuff sorted out. But we've got Matt Skelton on now and there's I think Mark Tibbs is coming on later, he's not confirmed it yet, but so you're gonna be in for some porky treats over the next few days. There's loads booked in here for Zoom and videos coming out all over the place and I'm gonna get this done with Matt and then we'll get over to Mick Wales for a cup of tea. So alright, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share, share the video and let me know if you want any Pokey merchandise. I've had uh, somebody get in touch with me and say they, want, they think I should do Pokey merchandise. We were doing mugs and that but they're nearly, they're nearly all gone now and it's a bit of time consuming but I'm going to speak to the, the powers that be and see if, see if we should do some merch. There's not going to be, there's no profit in it, I mean some of the prices that they're throwing around for this stuff is scandalous but we need to spread the porky love, don't we? And people need to jump on the porky express. Alright, have a good day.